These are times of great responsibility. And our utmost responsibility as professionals is health. The health of our patients, the health of the community we live in, our staff, and of course, ourselves. Our clinic has stopped any activity apart from the treatment of acute conditions and emergencies. Even so, there is a long list of actions that we need to take in order to limit the risk of contagion. All patients are considered as potentially infected, and that includes me. At all times, I have to think and act, as I am also the carrier of the virus. Of course, we will have to use barrier personal protective equipment, but limiting contagion is far more complex. Protocols start already at the telephone, at the point when we first communicate with patients to determine if an appointment is needed and then streamlining every movement from the moment the patient walks into the clinic until the moment he walks out as if we choreograph a very complex ballet performance. And after that, waste management and post-treatment disinfection is also strict and very detailed. There is not much need to debate about what to do. Our main responsibility is to choose to decide when to do and when to simply postpone until a time when we can ensure safer conditions for all. Maybe it's time to pause for a while and catch up with all the things we always wanted to do and never had the time. Learn something new, take an online course, join the ITI Online Academy, advance your skills, update your knowledge and train your staff. Maybe go through all these past cases you have accumulated, check your photos and prepare a few of them to share and discuss with colleagues online. 